Hi, it's Sam Tobert, Sound of Joy Music Services, and we're on to our next viewer request, the hymn, Trust and Obey. And the requested hymn is in the key of F. Let's get after it. And back down. Nashville number system, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight or octave, eight, octave eight, or one. And back down, major, diminish, minor, major, major, minor, minor, major. All right, so the hymn Trust and Obey is a traditional hymn which you can apply the number system chords to or to give it a, a better soulful feel with some gospel turnaround chords. The melody. found in the scale. So let's give you some what I call block chords to help you get get acclimated to just playing behind the congregational singing. Here's your first chord. Second chord, right in the natural system. Your fourth chord, and your fifth chord. Now those chords are, can be associated with the melody. It's sort of repeat. Your sixth chord. So that's six chords that I've given you that can be associated with the melody. Let me, let me show you. So those those chords that, I, that I've just shown you, which are your building block? Everything will work from there. The ending. As you can see, I'm using my left hand to help give the chord its full sound with that actual bass sound. But as you get comfortable playing just what I call your bass chords, which are found in the number system, then you can add some more seasoning or some more soulfulness to it. Let's go to the chorus. Almost forgot. Those same chords, bass chords, C, F. We're going to add a new chord, a, a D major, to the F minor. Back to your first chord, the F. For the C7. All right. So now that gets you, from a practice standpoint, ready and prepared to play this song. Let's add a little seasoning. Didn't it? We added that um, diminished chord. Here's your diminished chord.
G flat diminished seven. G flat being because that's the lowest note in the scale to the minor, A, G minor. Yeah. We're gonna add this chord. Remember from the natural chord, but let's add this, this B on the bottom. B minor seven plus five. Just a little seasoning. Here's a gospel turnaround. Another jazz to that D seventh. Another minish. Just a little seasoning. Gospel turnaround. Or two five one for those who are students of the number system so these are the chords now that you can add over what you've been doing and still we got melody dependent only because the melody will let you choose which chords you want to use not which ones that are standard to use the chorus touch and obey c7 Back to the F, your diminish, minus six rather, your D7, G minor, uh, I want to call this a G flat minus six, B flat minus six. So now we've given you quite a few chords that you can put with this. Now, as the musician, you're going to be following the tempo, whatever is set by either your lead singer or the congregation. But if you're the tempo setter, yeah, I believe there's three verses in this song. Just start it off as an easy ballad, and then if you want to get a little quicker on in the end, you can always bring it to a halt if it's, if it's running away on the... Um, to be happy in Jesus. Those are your breaks. All right. So let's show you all the chords and some more turnarounds you can do. From the beginning. As always, if you like these videos, consider subscribing to this channel. Leave a thumbs up. That always helps us in the YouTube algorithm. And leave a comment. Take care and see you on the next viewer request.